I'm just going to do a little bit of an update on how our jam has been spreading. Since our last Preston Raspberry Jam. I was in London a couple of weeks ago, and it's, wow, London's an amazing place to be in at the moment. When I got there, it was very clear that everybody was all hyped up and excited about this fantastic event. And people were excited about the Olympics as well. I laughed, that was a joke. <laughs> everybody was in London for the No, we all just believed you. So, um, I thought it'd be a great idea to have a Raspberry Jam in London. So we had we had another one last month, which was maybe the 31st of July. I don't know. Sometime. Oh, it was on the 25th of July. Okay. 25th of July. And loads of people came, and they wrote blogs, and uh, they, we had two BBC people came in their sort of off-duty mode, and they used an iPhone to record it. So it's not the usual sort of BBC standard. But well, you can go on there and you can watch videos and photos from the talks. There's one about pie in the sky. Have you seen pie in the sky? Yeah. Yes, yeah, some people are nodding. So, what's pie in the sky? It's a poetry book by Roger McGuff. Ah, okay. <laughs> and. It's also a BBC series. Oh, yeah. It was a kid's program. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Back to. The person who was going to tell us all about Pie in the Sky. Is that the guy who took one up in a balloon? That's right, it's called David. It's a surname, he'll come back to me in a moment. Put it in a balloon, <laughs> sent it up into space, and then it recorded the footage on the way back down to, to Earth. They managed, it landed about 25 kilometres away from where they set it off, so they were able to go and retrieve it. And you can watch, the, there's a link to the video online, you can go and see that on there. We also had, I've got this nasty habit of going up to people saying, would you mind doing a talk? And would you mind doing a talk? And I found three teachers at the London Raspberry Jam, and they, they talked about the problems that they're facing in school, and that kind of erupted into quite a, that almost took over the whole evening, and they, they you know, that's, quite a lot has come from that now, and they're, they're in discussions with the Raspberry Pi Foundation about how it's gonna work in school. And we've got photos as well, and they're all on there. So I've, I've had a bit of an, an interesting month because these raspberry jams, they're spreading all over the world. We've now got 30 from Singapore to Silicon Valley, from Durban in Africa to Durham, from Melbourne up to Manchester and all over. Manchester this Saturday. If you're, in, if you're not doing anything this Saturday, Ben Nuttall's running the, the one at Mad Lab on Saturday. But one of the things I hadn't realized was I'm getting addicted to this like a drug. And uh, I've had a few conversations with Mrs. O'Donoghue where she is one of those sort of, Alan, it's me or the jam. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's been a difficult month because I'm trying to find ways of squeezing the jam in and every time, you know, so. Um, but thankfully, some people, to go down to London, some people offered to pay my rail fare and that was really nice. And some people sponsored it. And, and as part of that, that's how I've got a prize that I'll raffle off later on. It's a, it's, a, it's a pie shaped, raspberry um, pie logo shaped case. Uh, Cover for raspberry pie. It says raspberry jam sponsored by SK Pie and Electronics. And it's a, it's a guy I've met at the London Raspberry Jam, and he has this website, skpie.co.uk. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, brilliant. We just got another prize added in. Oh, we have two prizes. So, Sukin has a website, uh, you can go on there. In fact, I have to tell you, I've struggled really to get my image burned on my SD, so all I did was I went on the website, and I think it's 10 pounds for an eight gig SD card. It's got Raspbian on there already. <laughs> I want to be able to use it, rather than spend the next three months looking at it. And, or you can get a, you can get a one gig one, I think, for five pound with Raspbian, and, and, and it, it worked every time. It wasn't a blank SD card, I've tested it. To make sure that you know that you didn't make it though. I do, but, but it means that's going to be all over Twitter later. <laughs> <laughs> but it means I can plug it in and start doing stuff, which I'm happy to. So when I went to Manchester on Monday, the 21st of July, we we're doing this thing called Pie Face. And Pie Face, and we should have brought it with me. I've then seen it, it does exist. I brought it to Ben's house. Yep, see, somebody else has seen it exists. You plug it on top of here, and you can plug in relays and switches and sensors and all sorts. And it, again, if you look through, and if you ask me later on, I'll tell you how you can find out about it. That's the University of Manchester. We'll, be, we'll have somebody come and do a talk soon about that. 
where we up to. So, um, do, 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 do. so Cambridge, lots of people came to Cambridge. That was awesome. We had about 300 people there. We had the Raspberry Pi team. Jan came, Chris came, Les came, he's not here. That guy, this, yeah, he, he, he doesn't came. know much about computers. He doesn't know much about computers. He came. So that, that's where we're up to. The reason I'm doing all this is because Hadley, where's Hadley? Hi, Hadley. Hadley was saying, what, what is this Raspberry Jam thing? So I'm explaining a little bit about it. Looking into the future, I noticed there aren't many children here today. No, I didn't say there weren't any, I said there aren't many. And I've been talking to some of the teachers, teachers like Vicky, who teaches at a school near me at Ashton. And I think what I'd like to do is make some of our future Raspberry Jams happen on a Saturday, because I think that will encourage families to come along. So people who've got kids can bring them along and legitimately they can go to a, jazz, a, ras a Jasper Ram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's a new product I haven't mentioned yet, that will come later on. And you can come along with your family and you can do stuff and you can have hands on. And I'm thinking we'd have this in a school, so we'd have classrooms with people doing stuff and talk. So, does anybody think Saturday is probably a good idea? Just to give it a thumbs up. To I'll, I'll be thinking of holding it in weekdays in a school, at, say a seven, you know, early yeah, on. Yeah. You know, like Just do it. Go ahead and do so it. So you could get forget some of us there. Yeah. So that but get kids from schools in the neighbourhood around. So it could maybe, be maybe maybe Friday would be better because then you don't have to get up the next day. So <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it's a weekday. Friday. Is Friday's not good for me. <laughs> well, we could try these things. We yeah. can put one on one day, and if nobody turns up, then it seems right. We should have had it on a Friday. I think I'd like to try one in a, as a yeah. not not for this event, yeah. but as a mini. So maybe October. Mini jam or a new, new name for it. And and one space I've got yeah, in mind. One, we can get four hundred people in this space easily. We can come in, and we've got lots of these things that work as well. This one doesn't work tonight. Let me let them know. So. Right, 10 minutes to tell you about what's happening at the moment around the UK. So, just go, yay, if you know what this is. Yay. Yay. That's about four or five people. So, today we launched Young Rewired Stage 2012. So, from Monday to Thursday this week, we've got probably, I don't know, 500 to 1,000 children all over the UK are taking part in a hack week. Uh, ben came to our school today. Do you want to just say a few words about... What, what you saw and what happened? No, he doesn't want to say that. Okay. So, uh, in our school, and it's happening in lots of other places around the country, let me show you some of them. We've got Manchester and Liverpool. Our ladies' high school. Mad Lab, Manchester, Birmingham, Brighton, Bournemouth. So, 14 children turned up today, and they've come in with laptops and things, and they want to code. Some of them are saying, coming in and saying things like, uh, Am I going to have to work around the proxy to, to, you know, to go through a command line to, to ask me all sorts of stuff I don't understand, which is good because they're at quite high level. And some are coming in saying, well, do we have to know how to program? So we've got a real cross section. Um, there's a 17 year old who has set up his own group. They're coding something. He's got he leads a group of 30 programmers all doing stuff. So interesting to see what he comes up with. And then we've got we've got some girls. And they're, they're working on some sort of an app to do with endangered species. We've got another group of people, and they're coming up with an idea for something to do with earthquakes. I thought this was a great idea. Um, have you seen Chirp? Chirp? Okay, Chirp's a new technology that you can send messages from phone to phone without using a network. It, it plays a sound, which sounds like a bird song, but it's in COVID. So you go, Chirp, and David's phone goes, he picks up the message and it decodes it into something. Wouldn't that be great in an earthquake when the mobile phone transmitter is collapsed into a hole in the ground? You've still got your phone and you can just press a button. You can send out messages to people to find out if they're in buildings. I don't know. These are a bunch of 13-year-olds. They might pull it off. Show <laughs> <laughs> um, this range limitation on that. Oh, sorry. So what they were talking about was um, the all the buildings have collapsed in an earthquake, you've got a disaster zone. Yeah. So you have something like a megaphone or a way of playing this out, and people's phones, if they can pick up the sound, they can sort of respond without using any sort of network. 
it, they're thirteen year olds. So it's yeah, an idea sorry. that he's got. Let's yeah. let's yeah. let them run. That works one way. It comes back the other way. Depends on the yeah. 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 So it's, yeah. Yeah. The technology is called mobile ad hoc routing. Man, that's, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> this is the research area. They've invented a research area that already exists. It does know something about it. It also knows a little bit. It also depends on the frequency response of your microphone. You, it probably goes way beyond our hearing anyway. Sorry, uh, is it the yeah, 13 year old girls, girls, remember? I mean, it, it, was it would probably go through, <laughs> some of the sounds would probably go through the rock. It's a content yeah. object. Yeah. It would probably work. Well, do you know what? Here's a challenge. If you're interested in this, come into our school Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday between 10 and 4. You're welcome to come in, talk to them, tell them their idea's pants, and you've got a better idea. <laughs> <laughs> Turn their idea in. That'll help put Preston on the map, you know. Or, or talk to the girls who did the Endangered Species app or, or whatever. But my door's open. Maybe te send me a text or an email just so I, I know that you come in. Um, if you want to find out what's happening, just go on Twitter and do this hashtag YRS2012. Oh, and you can find out. That's the last, that's so last year that one. And you can find out what's happening, and you can see we're tweeting photographs, but not just us, all over the UK. And on Birmingham, this weekend, people are coming to do this. We've got a festival called, we've got Evan Upton, you may have heard of him. He's a guy who knows stuff about computers. And he's coming to Birmingham to meet these kids and say... Hello. <laughs> you know, and I can't do an impression of him. So come along and you'll talk to them, and lots of other people are coming as well. So, that's, I'm kind of getting to the end of what I'm going to talk about, you'll be glad to know. But there's loads of fantastic stuff happening there. There's loads of raspberry jams happening up all over the country. And Simon, are you nearly ready?